Yeah, I just felt really confident in there again. I, it feels good to go in there with confidence. I mean, I went in there without doubting the takedowns. If he took me down, it wasn't a big issue. We had jiu-jitsu waiting for him, and that's what showed in the fight. What was the moment of change for you where you decided, you know, I'm not going to worry about these certain elements of the fight and just do what I do best? I just got tired of losing. I mean, I knew I was better than all these guys that I'm losing against, and I just I just took myself out of my element. And I, I couldn't I couldn't focus on the, the, the takedowns. They took away from my striking. They took away from my jiu-jitsu. And uh, you know, we got away from it, and, and it shows in my results. How much weight is lifted off your shoulders, especially getting a finish on Chiesa? Because, uh, you know, like you said, a lot of people didn't really look at the opponents you were fighting in, in some of those losses. Um, it's huge to get a finish, obviously. You know, I'm, I'm a fighter that looks for finishes. That's what I got back to, always looking for the finish, whether I'm striking or whether I'm on the ground. And, uh, you know, it, just, it was only a matter of time. I knew he was a bigger guy. I mean, Chiesa is a big 55er, and I'm looking up at him at the weigh-in. So, uh, I mean, it was going to take some time, and, uh, you know, I, just, I took my, my time with it, and, and I found it. What was your reaction yesterday when you missed weight by, by so much, uh, you know, like just – I'm sure you know there's a lot that goes into when a fighter misses weight, yeah. especially a big fight like this for you. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't point fingers. I miss weight when I fought Max Holloway, so I know how it is coming down to you know to a bigger, uh, a smaller weight class. I think uh, he'll probably feel better at 170. I mean, he's killing us up to make this weight class. But when you when you did miss weight, I mean, you handled yourself as professionally as you could at the weigh-ins. You know, he's talked back to you, said you know, see you in Bellator and things like that. Yeah. Uh, do you think after missing weight, he didn't handle himself as he should have? Uh, well, after the triangle, he he said you're a champ, so uh, that's all I care about. How much did Gerald Mershart's win last night kind of give you a boost in this fight? Because uh, that was a great win for him coming back and finishing last night. Incredible. Man, my team has been busting their butts this camp. I mean, I've been working since the last year. I, I brought in a new jiu-jitsu coach, Dan, Dan Borvik, another guy just to train with me on top of Daniel Wanderlei. Um, so I feel like uh, my team is just strong right now. And, uh, you know, Sergio Pettis, my little bro, obviously he's getting a huge win. Um, so we're on fire, and I'm just going to keep pushing. And what is next? I know this is a fresh win, but uh, when are you looking to get back in there? I, I tell everybody, I'm not here to fight anybody outside of top 10. I want top five now. I mean, I got myself back in top 10. It, I was already annoyed that I was the underdog, blue corner again. I'm, I'm a former world champ two times. You know, I, I'm getting my respect back. Did any, any of your friends win any money tonight because uh, you're the underdog? I'm not sure. I hope so. <laughs> they should buy you I dinner. hope so. That should be the rules, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does having, yeah. A, sorry, does having a submission win tonight have any significance since you did receive your black belt? I didn't receive it yet, so uh, it's like allegedly I got a black belt. So until I get that black belt, <laughs> until I get on my waist, then uh, yeah, I feel like uh, man, I've been I've been working hard. I've been doing the gi a lot. I've been I just been getting back to doing what I like to do. I, the, the reason I got to become a champion is because I love doing jiu-jitsu, I love striking, and I love competition. And then uh, we threw that wrestling in there, and that's just not for me. Obviously, I need to know a little bit of it, but my takedown defense was better tonight than it has been in all the last couple fights, and I've been forcing it down my throat. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, well, I think uh, my striking sets that up. And I hit him with the right hand, and he was already wobbly. You know, I, I sunk in the guillotine. He did a good job defending that, but I already had the leg on top. And the, the transition, guillotine, triangle, arm bar, uma plata, and he didn't get past you know, the, second, the second set. A little bit of swagger in the cage tonight, and, and it seemed like you, you look like the Anthony Pettis that we saw when you were the champion. Do you feel like that Anthony Pettis? Not, not quite there. I feel like I'm right there. Uh, my striking was a little timid still. I feel like I can let loose a little more on my striking. Um, I just knew he had long arms. I didn't want to get caught with him kicks, you know, him getting the body lock. So I feel like uh, I'm, we're right there. I'm just going to keep working. You, you mentioned a couple of times that um, confidence was important. Mm -hmm. was, did you have that confidence walking out? Did you get the same confidence every time, or is it just fight? confidence changes throughout the fight. It comes from the training camp. I feel like when you have a training camp and you feel amazing. I had no injuries this camp. Um, when I fought Dustin Poirier, I got cut two weeks before the fight. You know, just little things like that changes your confidence. In this fight, I had no injuries. I was uh, I was ready to go in April, and then I had a, another three, four months to get more, even more ready. So no no injuries again. I'm going right back to the gym, and we'll, we'll see what comes of it. And just making sure, like, do you really do enjoy the ground jiu-jitsu, especially just yeah. as much as the striking? I love jiu-jitsu. I mean, I think I have more wins by submissions. I think you probably know that. But uh, <laughs> I, I have more wins by submissions than striking. But I think my striking is what my background is. That's what sets up my submissions. Um, and I got away from that. I got, I got just defending double legs and wizarding, and it takes away from what I'm good at. Is there, is there any uh, opponent next that you're looking at, any fight that maybe you're looking at in the division where you're saying, hey, I want the winner of that? Because you're the winner now. You, you know. Yeah, well, I feel like I fought everybody in this damn division already. I mean, besides, like, you know, top, top, you know, Khabib and Connor, I fought, I beat, I fought Edson, I fought Eddie. I want one of these guys. I, Eddie Alvarez, Dustin Poirier, one of them guys that I, I lost to, I want to fight that again. What about the winner of James Vick and Justin Gaethje? Does that interest you at all? Um, I don't even know what ranking they are, but it might, it might interest me. There are situations you see coming up right now uh, with the momentum you have up after this win. Your brother, Sergio, of course, you guys are both UFC champions. That's the goal, man. I mean, we sat down this year, said Pettis Bro is going to become world champions, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, Sergio's just on fire right now. I'm feeding from that energy, and it uh, feels good, man. How many more fights do you think it will take to get a title? One good impressive victory. I mean, I just got I got to get the fans behind me. That the rankings don't mean crap. I mean, it's about the fans that are behind you. Great win.
good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll check out Paul, man. Fuck.